Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm being going to be doing another quick tip video, but it is not going to actually be um it's going to be in the quick tips folder, but it is not going to be have like a quick tips thumbnail. It's just going to say like what I'm doing in the video. Um but what I'm doing is I'm going to show you guys how to take off your handguard on two different types of guns and how to take apart your inner or your outer barrel because some people don't know, excuse me, they know how to take their handguard off, but they don't know how to take their um, outer barrel apart. So for time purposes and space, it's easier just to take your two receivers apart. So this is my gun, and this is the Falcon ASL Kilo up here. Now, I'm going to start with the Kilo because it's tinier and the, they are easier. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you take your barrel and your hop-up unit out. And then make sure there's nothing else in here. If you have a suppressor or tracer or flash hide or anything on it, take that off. And then put that aside. Now what you're gonna wanna do is I use my Allen keys. And what, what they tell you to do is in here, there's a little pin right there. You guys, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little pin right there. What they tell you to do is take a screwdriver, come through this side, and then hit that pin out. And it gets stuck in there sometimes because I don't exactly do it how they say to do it. But this is that pin, it's a pain in the butt to get out. So if I were you guys, if you wanna do it how they tell you, you can do it how they tell you. But the way I do it is, I'm actually gonna put this back in here. But when you take this out, you push this pin out and then your hand guard comes off. But what I do is I just keep mine together because the way these pins were made, they, um, we're made to like bend and everything. So once you get this back in here, then once it's in there, all I do is I just push it out. And then sometimes I'll have to take a screwdriver and push to get it through. Or sometimes I'll use my Allen keys. Um, but then this pin comes out with that on the inside, which just makes it easier because it bends in. But then you just take your handguard off and that's how you take your handguard off if you're like buying a new one, putting a new one on, like cleaning because you got dirt or something in it. Now this one is different compared to mine. I'll show you guys that once I get to mine. But this one, once you take your handguard off, all you have to do is this may be a little tough if you're just doing it to your gun and you've never done it before because there may be um, thread seal on this so it's going to be super tight. But like I've said with all my things, I do it all the time so they're easy. So this is a clockwise thread. So you're gonna wanna, it's normal, so you go um, left to take it off and then right to tighten it. Compared to if you're using a suppressor, then this is right to take it off and left to put it on. But then you just unscrew this, move it down, and then your top, your actual top receiver comes off. And there's threads up here and this is where the hop up goes in. And then this is your outer barrel. Now this part up here is actually a tiny little barrel extension. You guys probably see this line here, but this is a barrel extension from this size, which I'm pretty sure is an 18 millimeter to a 14 millimeter. But this is quite easy to take off. I'm gonna see if I have the right size Allen key. Pretty sure I do. Yes, I do. So what these are two tiny little Allen keys on the Valkins, but on mine, mine aren't it's like mine only has like three, but you loosen this, these two, you don't have to take them all the way out. I would be careful if you do, so you don't lose them, but you can take this out and then this, which holds your barrel on will um, come right off. And you can see like this gets scratched and stuff. That's because if you don't loosen it all the way, it's gonna scratch it. And then up here is 
are two Phillips head screws. Those are, um, you have to take those all the way out to get this part of the barrel apart. Now, these, um, I don't think these had, yeah, they did. Okay, so these had thread seal on them. If you're just doing this to your gun member, <coughs> excuse me, um, these are everything in your gun. If you, whatever you look at my videos or anything, um, everything is going to have thread seal on it. So this right here, this is oxidation from the rain. Because when you play out in the rain, everything gets oxidized. But this is, this does not come apart, which is like, makes me a little bit mad. This you can take apart. You would just put this in a bench vise and then um, take some pipe wrenches and put on here. And then that'll, you can unscrew this off here. Now some Valkins don't have um, uh, barrel extensions on them. Some of them do, this one does. Um, what this does is makes the outer barrel come out a little bit farther. So I'll show you guys actually what that looks like in a second. But to put this back in, this is, I mean, it's kind of complicated, but you see this, this is where your hop up goes in when it goes in your top receiver. So that is where this goes. The spring goes up here. So what you're going to want to do is right here on this part of the outer barrel, this is the bottom because this goes on here like this. So make sure that just goes in there. And then you can tighten these Allen keys down. Now these Allen keys do not have thread seal on them because you would never be able to get them out. Now, if they do and it's, you start to strip it, just stop and don't do any more to it. Now with this, you just have to look, this is the top and this is the top. And then you can put these back together and then put your screws back in. Doesn't matter which one, because they're both the exact same. And you just put these back in here. They're super short, so it's not gonna take that much effort to put them back in. Okay. Now once, I just made a mistake as I'm realizing this. I forgot to put this back on here. So you need to make sure that when you do that, you put that back on and you don't put it on backwards off here because if you put it on backwards you're not gonna be able to thread um it back onto the gun so make sure the threads are towards the back this is the front this is the back you just put this on here do the exact same thing make sure you don't have it on upside down then you can thread this in super not super tight but just like tight enough that it stays on there it's not gonna come off like there i didn't put this on right so i'll catch you guys when i actually put this back on right okay so i have this on here right now finally um now what you're gonna do this is the top again and you can see how this is flat and this is flat right here it just makes it easier to put it back together and then they go in and then this just screw on righty tighty it's, it's a normal thread. It's easier if you just hold it and spin your gun. It's not that easy with a longer gun like mine. It is with a tiny gun like Kilo. But that is on. One of the things you want to make sure is put this on hand tight. But after you play a couple games or so, um, like outdoors running around, dropping your gun and stuff, don't drop your gun. Um, you need to make sure this is tight because I've actually had this come off of here multiple times before because this was not tight so it just rattled itself off and then you could see it started to come out of the um hand guard so now i want to show you guys what i mean by the barrel extension real fast so you can put your hop up back in and you can see right here there's nothing on the end when i push it into where it's going to be when it's actually back together it sticks out now if i had this off here the barrel would be back here and this would actually stick out of your orange tip a little bit. So that's why the barrel extension is on there. But now it's super simple. You just put your handguard back on, slides right over, take your pen again, and then you're just gonna push back in. It doesn't really matter what side you do. Sometimes they can be finicky, but then sometimes they'll go on super easy. 
but then you can just take your bottom receiver, put this back on here, and you may have to push it together a little bit depending on the spring that's in your hop up. But then there we go, this is back together. Now you just you can push the presser or flash hider back on. You technically don't have to take it off on the um, Kilo or any of the Valkins because um, of the way the hand guard is open. There's nothing there to stop it. With mine, I have to. There's nothing there to stop it. So you could just take this right off. But that is how you take the Valken Kilo hand guard off and out of barrel apart. Now mine is a little bit complicated. I don't know if my whole gun's actually in frame or not because this is a longer gun. But what you're first gonna wanna do is um, take your flash hider or suppressor or whatever you have on there off. Now with mine, mine has this piece on it. Now if you've never done this, there's actually a pin down here that you have to hammer in because it will not let you pull it out. But then it just pulls right out. Um, there's that pin I was telling you guys about right there. You can probably see it now. But then that just holds your barrel in place. Now, with mine, make sure you take your hop up out too. Uh, with mine, mine has three screws down here and there's three nuts on the other side. Um, now, which literally it's easy. You just have to turn this with your Allen key until the nut falls off. And then you just do all three of them. Now tightening them is a little bit complicated, just a little bit, it's not that much, um, because you just have to do them like all the same size. And like, so it, not the middle's not too tight and the outside are pulling out. But now all you're gonna wanna do is once you have your flash hider off and the barrel thing, I don't know what it's called, off, you can just wiggle this. And then there's your handguard, slides right off. You can leave, you can actually leave your screws in the handguard. That's actually what I do with mine. I just take the nuts off. Now with mine, you can tell mine looks different than the Balkan because mine just looks like one huge barrel extension. That's just because mine, since mine has the barrel, the thing that keeps my barrel in place, I don't need to get anything on like all the metal that was on the other one to like keep it there. Mine just, keep, this keeps it in place. This just is right up here and holds it right there at the end of my gun. So this is like super slick. I actually think it looks really cool when we're playing to have this together. And I'm not gonna put it all the way together because of my pen in, but it actually looks kind of cool like a sniper rifle with a super long barrel. Um, but it's this one's super easy now with mine. I had never taken mine apart and because I've tried and tried and tried, I couldn't get it to come apart. As I finally one day just decided I'm gonna do it like a lot more. And so, what I had to do is I had to take my scope off, um, and put my actual top receiver part in a bench vise, grab a pipe wrench, and right here you can see it's actually scratched up on both sides. Put the pipe wrench on there and turn and turn and turn it finally got through the thread seal so now it's super easy just like the other ones these are standard threads too so you go lefty loosey righty tidy take them off and put it back on and then just do that now with mine since i don't have anything clunky on my barrel i can actually slide mine all the way off and then my barrel or my outer barrel come right off now mine, you can tell, is a lot longer. That's because with my hop-up, my hop-up is a different style hop-up compared to the one in the Kilo. So mine actually goes in here. And mine, this is actually spring that goes in here to keep it pushed out along with this top spring so like your mags feed perfectly and everything else. So, with this one, it's easy. You just, there's two here. Keep grabbing the wrong one. So there's one on here on the bottom and two on the top. Now I'm gonna take these apart just to show you guys how to do it. 
but you it's the exact same as on the kilo you just turn them till they're halfway out and Go. And this one you just have to wiggle a little bit and then this one comes right off now this one does get stuck on the bottom a little bit like you can see there's some metal there that's because when it was manufactured and they didn't sand and cut all this down the right way or they did it the right way but it's not enough now this is literally the outer barrel mine's not as complicated now if you are wanting to switch outer barrels out between guns I've tried it with the Valken versus the Lancer and the way the top receivers and the hand guards are, they don't like complying with each other. So I got the barrels on there, the outer barrels and swap the inner barrels, but the receivers wouldn't go together because the hop up um, on the Valkans is different than my rotary hop up. So they don't comply with each other. And it's like, if you had an EMG or like something else that's not a Valken, these, they're all the same, so like you could comply or they would comply with each other. Like if I wanted to put Trevor's um, SEMA Platinum Barrel on here, it's the, like the exact same as mine, same length and everything else. So I could switch those out if I wanted to, but they're the exact same, so I really have no reason. One of the reasons why you'd actually do that is if, say, if I were to get a shorter barrel like right here, like a 210 millimeter barrel, I would get one that's this long and then I would get um, an inner barrel that's a 210 length and this one, they don't put these in millimeters. So a 210 length, which is the exact same as the Valken Kilo, is it's a 210, 210 millimeter inner barrel and this outer barrel is 8.7 inches, which like doesn't make sense. You'd think they'd do it like this fits so-and-so barrel, but they don't. So you just have to know what you're doing. Worst case, just Google how many millimeters it is. And like with mine, let me put this on here. Um, with mine, my barrel sticks, I don't think my barrel sticks out that much because my barrel is, it's a more common barrel, but the outer barrel is, different it's like meant just for this and not for suppressors and stuff that's why you normally don't see me playing with suppressors on my gun so put this on here put this back in here and then this just screws right back on remember it goes right to tighten it on on like suppressors or anything which are on um, opposites so there's that and uh, if i grab my hop up and put in here um, you can see my hop up actually is not even there. So I don't know how to do this, but you guys, I can't tell if you can see that or not. Get out here about the light, maybe. Sorry, this is complicated. You can't see it, but my barrel actually doesn't even stick out of my outer barrel because of how long it is. It's actually like right here halfway through the threads and that's with it pushed in right now it's about back here because of the springs and when the two receivers go together it pushes it out that's why i can't if i play with suppressors and stuff i have to um readjust my hop up because it will hit the suppressor that's why i just have this open flash hider because the dps won't get messed up now to put this back on here it's super simple now with mine there's a hole on here and a hole on my gun back here. You can see that right there. There's a hole right there at the end of my finger. Um, so that actually is for this. And then they go together. That's just so they, like your hand guard doesn't move and everything. Now with these, it's easy. You just take your nut and hold on the end of this and then you just screw it on. Now what I do is I screw it down till you can feel it turning on the end of your finger. And then I stop. And I start from the front to the back. Sometimes I'll do back to front. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same. It's just how you prefer putting it together. Now if I do this on my finger. And then do this again on the back one. 
Um, sometimes you won't get it up in the hole yet, so you'll have to just pull it till it goes in, but then it's on there. On this side, you can see if you hold it to where your finger's at, it's all about the same. And then to put the end back on, you just slide this, this back here, on here, like so. And then you put your flash hider back on. Now my flash hider doesn't go all the way on my threads, if you guys can see that. That's because my threads are longer than this flash hider threads. So it only goes a certain amount, but then I can just grab some pliers and put on there tighter, but I swap stuff out sometimes so I don't have it on there super tight. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. This is gonna be my last video of this week. And until probably a week after Christmas, I'll have to see when I film again. But Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys on the next video.